Hi, Tom Cole for St. John's Jesuit and Broadcast TV Channel 4. It's certainly an honor and a privilege to be with an outstanding teacher at St. John's Jesuit, Mr. Dave Simmons. Dave, welcome. Good David, um, you know, I, I was still taken aback by this. I asked you, because I taught here for a long time at St. John's, privilege to do that, how long you've taught, and, and you told me 40 years. And uh, first of all, you look fantastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're kind of the Dorian Gray of St. John's. You must have a picture that's aging someplace at home because you look you look great. How have you been able to keep the energy, passion, commitment, enthusiasm? Because you have. You know, a lot of times people want to, but it kind of wanes in education because it's such a draining endeavor. Mm -hmm. How have you been able to keep that? Well, I've just always enjoyed it here. I think it's a great place to, to be and, and to work. And um, uh, I was raised to value education, and, and I've always... Uh, always told my students and, and everybody that, that asks that I don't, I don't come to work, I come to school and it's a place to learn and, and there's something new every year and it's new classes and it's new technology and it's, it's uh, new faculty and so I've, I've just found it, it's a fresh place to work every day. Dave, I, you know, I always, uh, we, I get to go into classrooms and schools uh, with BCSN and uh, other places to speak and I always get the thing, of, uh, you know, kids aren't what they used to be, you know, and they're not, you know, and I I always want to stop the people and say, well, yeah, you're right, they're better. Um, has, has teaching changed? Have the kids, have the basic things or needs that the kids want in the classroom, has that changed? I, I don't think so. I think basically uh, they're the same. They're, they're, they're bright and uh, we're fortunate at St. John's that we have students who, who come and have, uh, have goals in mind and, and want to want to pursue their education. Um, you know, certainly the influences that they are uh, experiencing in their everyday lives are different. So I think we have to meet them where we are, where they are. Um, but uh, you know, um, basically same students. Dave, when I uh, had the privilege to come back and teach uh, here at St. John's in broadcast class, I noticed a lot, a lot of changes. Uh, the smart boards and uh, everybody—they're not taking notes anymore. They have an iPad mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of yeah. a lot of different changes. Yeah. How in your class has technology, the metamorphosis of technology, how has that changed in your class? Well, tremendously. Um, when I came in the 70s, that was before the advent of the handheld calculator even. And so for the first year or two, I taught slide rule. Uh, <laughs> laboratory experiments were you know, the old tape timer and, and people that had physics in the 70s will remember that, that it took you a whole class period to do an experiment and then sit there with a meter stick and and measure all the points and, and if you were lucky you had something and if you weren't well it was too bad and uh, the way the technology has developed now with uh, electronic data acquisition um, you know you can you can do the experiment in five or ten seconds and know in about the same amount of time after that whether it's a good run um, and if it is great and if it's not um, you can do it over again and, and if it's good you can do three or four things you, you can change it kids like to ask you know what would happen if and uh, we're, we're privileged now to be able to say, well, try that right, and see what happens. And I think that's, uh, that's a big change. Dave, and being a bit of a harbinger and looking forward into the future, you had a great line. We were chatting about this off air in the green room, which was actually on the other side of here. But um, uh, the future of the technology in the classroom, mm -hmm. I mean, you had a great line. What did you say? Well, I said, I don't know what's going to happen in six months. And, right. and a, uh, an example of that was we started the iPad last year and uh, we started using it some in, in our classes and I used it some in the, in the physics class and by spring uh, one of our suppliers had come out with a new device that um, can talk to the iPad. So it's a data acquisition device and the kids can gather around, collect their data with their, and, and have their iPads uh, on and, and connected to this device and so the three or four students in the lab group immediately have the data and they can, they can take that home and, and work on it and um, they don't have to write it down in a notebook. So I think that's, uh, that's something that just happened here that we didn't know was going to happen. Um, you know, and to look six months or six years into the future, I, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say other than, uh, you know, things are going to change. <laughs> that's very prophetic. Uh, Dave, you teach a, a really interesting class to me, an engineering class that youngsters can get college credit for. Talk a little bit mm -hmm. about that. Well, that's <coughs> our, uh, our senior level class, OSU Fundamentals of Engineering. And it's, uh, it is Ohio State's freshman engineering course. It's one of the courses that all their freshmen take. And they offered it to us because we're one of their big feeder schools. And um, uh, if a student uh, takes the course here and goes to Ohio State, he has the opportunity to apply for uh, the credit hours down there. 
which uh, you know gives him some credits, maybe some advanced standing, and that's certainly not the reason to take the course. Uh, but we do send students to Ohio State, and, and that's um, you know that's an advantage for them. But the the skill set is the reason to take the course, and and it's tremendous whether a student goes into engineering or not. Um, the things that they learn there are uh, are widely applicable. So I, I think it's a great course. Dave, you've been a, a great teacher for so long, and you've influenced so many students in such a, a positive way and in such a mentoring educational fashion. Give me two things that you would say about education that has continually drawn you to it. Two things that, you know, you go into the school that you enjoy so much in the interaction with the kids. Well, I, I think the one is what you just said. I think the interaction with the kids. That's why, that's why I became a teacher, and and certainly that's. That's what keeps me here, um, and uh, I've had the opportunity to meet and teach, you know, many great students, and um, uh, and and some of them come back, and I think that's another issue that when a student comes back after you know five years or ten years, and he is, um, you know, maybe he's majored in physics or he's become a, a physician or or whatever, sure. um, and uh, and you know, and says something like, you know, uh, you know, you made a difference or. Do you remember when? <laughs> and uh, and uh, that's uh, that's very rewarding. Dave, on behalf of uh, St. John's Jesuit, the entire uh, faculty and all the student body and all the alumni that uh, you've interacted with and enhanced uh, their educational process, uh, we certainly commend you on a job well done. Thanks, and Tom. look forward to many more years in the classroom, Mr. Dave Simmons. Okay. Tom Cole for St. John's Jesuit and TV4.